CBSE Class 12 Practical Skills in Physics Experiment Number One Optics, Spherical Mirrors and Lens 1.1 To find the value of V for different values of U in case of a concave mirror and to find the focal length Aim To find the value of V for different values of U in case of a concave mirror and to find the focal length Materials required Concave mirror An optical bench 3 uprights Mirror holder 2 needles A knitting needle Meter scale Procedure A concave mirror forms a real image except when object is between F and P. Hence, its focal length can be found using direct method. Approximate focal length of concave mirror can be found by using a distance object. The image at distance object is formed at focus of a concave mirror. Determination of approximate focal length. Select a distance object which is in bright light, example a tall tree or an electric pole. Keep the mirror in such a way that you get a sharp image of a distant object on the screen or wall. Measure the distance between mirror and screen with a meter scale. This will give approximate focal length of the given concave mirror. Setting up the apparatus. Select a rigid table. Check whether the table is in horizontal position or not. Keep the optical bench on the table. Clamp the concave mirror with a mirror holder to the upright at one extreme so that the remaining upright are in front of this mirror. Fix two optical needles on the two uprights. Adjust the height of the optical needles so that their tips are in line with the pole of the mirror. Move the object needle back and forth so that its image touches with the tip of the image needle. Removing the parallax. For this, move the image needle towards or away from mirror. If on moving the eye to left and right, the image needle moves in a direction opposite to the movement of eye, then take away the image needle away from the concave mirror. On the other hand, if on moving the eye, the image needle moves closer to the eye, then take the image needle towards the concave mirror. Determining the distance of images and object. After removing the parallax, measure the distance of object and images. Measure the distance between pole of the mirror and tip of the object needle to find the object distance. Similarly, measure the distance between the pole of the mirror and tip of the image needle to find the image distance. Observations Result The focal length of the given concave mirror is 1.2 To find the focal length of a convex mirror using a convex lens Aim To find the focal length of a convex mirror using a convex lens. Materials required Optical bench 4 uprights Convex mirror Convex lens Knitting needle Meter scale Pins Lens holder Mirror holder Procedure A convex mirror always forms a virtual image hence its focal length cannot be found directly. Determination of approximate focal length Select a distance object which is in a bright light, example a tall tree 
or an electric pole. Keep the lens in such a way that you get an image of a distant object on the screen or wall. Measure the distance between the lens and the screen. This will give approximate focal length of the given convex lens. Setting up the apparatus. Select a rigid table. Check whether the table is in horizontal position or not. Keep the optical bench on the table. Place three uprights on the optical bench. Clamp the convex mirror with the mirror holder to the upright at one extreme so that the remaining uprights are in front of this mirror. Fix the convex lens with the upright in the middle at 50 cm. Fix the object needle to the upright at another extreme that is near zero end so that the convex lens is between the convex mirror and the object needle. The tip of the optical needle, the optical center of the convex lens and P of the convex mirror should be in the same horizontal line. Formation of image due to convex mirror and convex lens. Move the object needle back and forth so that the distance between it and convex lens is slightly more than the approximate focal length of the convex lens. Adjust the convex mirror so that the light reflected from it passes through the convex lens and forms a real and inverted image coinciding with the object needle. Adjust the height of the needle so that the two tips that is object needle and image needle tips are seen in one straight line. Formation of image due to convex lens. Adjust the height of this needle so that its tip is in the line with the tip of the object needle and optical center of the convex lens. You will notice that a real inverted and magnified image of object needle is formed on the other side of the lens. Note the position of the image needle which should coincide with C of the convex mirror. Measure the distance between P of convex mirror and C. This gives the measurement of radius of curvature. We know that F is equal to R by 2. Observations Result The focal length of given convex mirror F is equal to 1.3 To find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between U and B or between 1 by U and 1 by B. Aim To find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting graphs between U and B or between 1 by U and 1 by B. Materials required A convex lens of small focal length, two needles, three uprights, optical bench, knitting needle, meter scale, and a clamp. Procedure Lens formula gives relationship between object distance that is U, image distance that is V, and focal length F. A graph between 1 by U and 1 by V is a straight line and intercept of the graph gives the value of 1 by F. Determining approximate focal length of convex lens. Select a distance object which is in a bright light, example a tall tree or an electric pole. Keep the lens in such a way that you get an image of the distance object on a screen or wall. Measure the distance between the lens and the screen. This will give approximate focal length of the given convex lens. Setting up the apparatus. Select a rigid table. Check whether the table is in horizontal position or not. Keep the optical bench on the table. Place three uprights on the optical bench. Keep the convex lens on the middle upright. Keep the object needle on left side of the convex lens. The distance between them should be about one and a half times the approximate focal length. Keep the image needle on the right side of the convex lens. The distance between them should be at more than two times the approximate focal length. Determination of object and image distance. Adjust the object needle and image needle 
so that you get a real inverted and magnified image beyond 2f. The image needle and the image should be coincident as shown in figure. Ensure that the tip of the image needle touches the tip of the image. Adjust the image needle so that there would be no parallax error. Apply index correction by using a horizontal needle. This is done to ensure that the tips of the object needle, image needle, image and O of the lens all lie on the same line. Determination of focal length. Focal length of the given convex lens can be calculated using the following formula. Find the focal length for each set of observation for U and V. Plot the graph between U and V or 1 by U and 1 by V, taking them along X axis and Y axis respectively. From graph, find the value of F. Observations Result The focal length of the convex lens by plotting graph between U and V or between 1 by U and 1 by V is done. One point four. To find the focal length of a concave lens using a convex lens. Aim to find the focal length of a concave lens using a convex lens. Materials required concave lens convex lens of focus smaller than that of concave lens, optical bench, knitting needle, two needles, meter scale and four uprights. Procedure A concave lens always forms a virtual image and hence its focal length cannot be found by a direct method. A convex lens is used to converge the diverging rays coming from the concave lens and real image is obtained. Determination of approximate focal length of convex lens. Select a distance object which is in bright light, example a tall tree or an electric pole. Keep the lens in such a way that you get an image of a distant object on a screen or wall. Measure the distance between the lens and the screen. This will give approximate focal length of the given convex lens. Setting up the apparatus. Select a rigid table. Check whether the table is in the horizontal position or not by using the sprit level. Keep the optical bench on the table. Place four uprights on the optical bench. Determining the object and image distance for convex lens. Use the steps from previous experiment to determine the object distance and image distance for convex lens, introducing the concave lens. Without disturbing the position of O and convex lens, place the concave lens L2 between the convex lens and image needle I. The optical center of both the lenses should be in line with tips of image needle and object needle. The real image of the object would be formed at the different location than earlier image. The earlier image works like a virtual object for the convex lens. Adjust the concave lens to get a sharp image. Carry out necessary fine adjustment to remove parallax error for location of tips of image needle and the images. Determining the object and image distance for concave lens. Measure the distance between virtual object 1 and concave lens L2. This is the object distance U for concave lens. Measure the distance between the new image I' dash and concave lens L2. This is the image distance V for concave lens. Repeat the steps above to get more sets of observation. Determination of focal length. The focal length of concave lens can be calculated using the following formula. F is equal to UV by U minus V. Observations. Result. 
the focal length of the given concave lens is 